Prince Harry should have been denied residency in the United States after he failed to disclose his drug use which was referenced in his upcoming Megxit memoir, an American immigration expert has suggested. The Duke of Sussex, 38, was quizzed on his drug use during an interview with CBS Anderson Cooper on 60 Minutes. Prince Harry said, I would never recommend people to do this recreationally. But doing it with the right people if you are suffering from a huge amount of loss, grief or trauma, then these things have a way of working as a medicine. During his memoir Spare, which will be released on January 10, the father of two admitted to smoking cannabis, using cocaine and resorting to psychedelics. Professor Alberto Benitez, director of George Washington University's Immigration Clinic, told The Telegraph, he would have been asked, about drug use. Harry tells of private moment with the Queen after her death, she'd completed her life if he was truthful in his answers, he should have been denied. If the Duke failed to declare it, he added, one of the repercussions, whatever visa he has, is that it would be revoked, or he'll be subject to being revoked because he lied in the application process. However, Professor Benitez speculated Prince Harry is residing in the United States on a green card. A green card would be obtained by the Duke through his wife. Prince Harry says people are infuriated and embarrassed at his peace in the US Meghan Markle was born in Los Angeles and is an American citizen. Applicants for a green card are also obliged to undergo a medical examination. Applicants must also address questions such as criminal history and involvement in extreme organizations, including Nazi groups. Immigration lawyer Chrissy Fernandez also addressed concerns about Harry's drug use. Dan Witten slams Prince Harry interview claiming Royal Cho's BFF, reveal Duke set for explosive 60 minutes with Anderson Cooper, inside Harry claims William argued about wetting beard for a week, spotlight, she told the broadsheet, in theory, if Prince Harry ever possessed any illicit substances, even if he was not arrested he would have been required to disclose that. However, Fernandez added, as it relates to past drug use without a conviction, it's unlikely to cause a real problem for him. Express.co.uk has approached the Duke of Sussex for comment.